woke up this morning with money on my mind. Mm-hmm. I'm rush out, big man, I'm focused on your fine. Mm-hmm. I pray to the Lord, everything will work fine. Mm-hmm. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. shine. What's good, YouTube? What's happening, squad? The real TK squad back again with another thoughts and opinions video. She want Travis to check it in. And it is your girl, Queen Key, off in this thing. Uh, you, you, need, you need to pull out your old school thing on this one. What you, you about get, this one was highly requested, yeah, yeah, highly requested, highly requested, y'all. So um, y'all been blowing up the DMs and everything all today. They've been blowing up comments on the other videos talking about talking about this. So today, everybody's been hitting us up about um, Queen Naja is uh, filing for full custody of Baby CJ. Uh, it's been on the shade room team, the shade room, and uh, everybody. And y'all hit us up with the comment that they posted a video of Chris talking about, you know, him missing his son and, you know, somebody trying to be selfish and trying to go for full custody and all this stuff. And Clarence, bitch ass, comments laughing my fucking ass off. Y'all already know. He commented right under Chris too, but like Chris commented in the in the shade room teams, and he commented right up under left. Y'all know team. how I feel about Clarence. Like this nigga is a broke nigga that didn't have shit that lived in the think, basement. But he had a clothing line. Number one, he was a broke <laughs> nigga that didn't have shit that lived in the basement. He never really wanted Queen. She was just a fuck for him, and she and he fucked around and got her pregnant. Yep. And. Her dumb ass not realizing that she's taking care of him and his whole family now. Right. And... And gonna continue till all the money's gone. Yeah. And his stupid ass got a say-so about her son. And he don't even like baby CJ. That's been said. Yeah, that's a fact. That's known fact. We know that. He don't even like him. And he has a say-so on what she can and what she can't do with him. That's some fucked up shit. Like, Queen is a no nothing ass bitch. Like, she's a fucking bitch. Like, I've been sparing this hoe. But for you to go and get try to get full custody um, from a nigga that takes care of his child and want to be in his child's life when most niggas don't do that and and don't be in their kid's life and they just have a baby and keep it moving. She's a fucked up bitch. She's a, she's a dumb bitch. And at the end of the day, she ain't doing nothing but hurting nobody but CJ. She thinks she's hurting Chris, but you're not really hurting him. Well, she is hurting him too, though. She, she I is. I mean, in, in the process. In yeah. the process, she is hurting him. But at the end of the day, you're going to hurt your child more than you're going to hurt the child's father. Because that boy... Loves the fuck out of his daddy. Mm-hmm. He loves the fuck out of him. So you taking him from his daddy to try to replace his dad with Clarence, that shit ain't going to work. He ain't got nothing to do with that. He ain't got nothing to do with replacing with Clarence and that. Queen, right now, let me tell you something. These people on YouTube and, and in, in, in this celebrity world that they live in, in this box they live in, they get so caught up in impressing the viewers and the people and, and these and these dumbass fans that that that, love, that supposed to love them so much they get so caught up in impressing them. That's all this shit is about. We've Queen we we've heard these people type in comment boxes in the comment sections for the last two years. She need to get full custody. She need to take the take take him from him. She need to get full custody. And then half of the time the motherfuckers who be saying that. Be some goddamn 12 year olds. But that's the thing though. If we gonna go and say she need to take full custody, then Chris should have went and tried to get full custody of baby CJ two years ago when you abandoned your child and you chased a nigga for a whole year. But and not know. only that, when he is with Queen, what the fuck does she do? Put the child in a room with a fucking tablet or a phone. She spends no time with him. She even said that. Yeah. That came out of her mouth yeah. and said, when he's here, I let him play with his tablet or the phone and something like that. Or you ship him off to other motherfucking people. And she just put that out there on, she said that out her own fucking mouth. You send him to some nigga house. 
Oh, the, the they got to, other kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you send them to this nigga house when you don't want to fucking deal with them. Or you send them to your mama when you don't want to fucking deal with them. See what, so why would you take him from his dad then? See, see my, my, my thing is, I, I, I look at it like because I'm, I'm, I'm fair. And I look at it on both sides. I can't say that she should take him and not say he should take him. N nobody should take nobody from nobody. For, as a parent, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Unless, unless, unless you're doing something to harm, to physically harm that child, then I don't feel like another parent should come in and take custody from nobody. And so I, so I feel like Chris didn't do that because that wasn't the right thing to do. You know what I'm saying? And she shouldn't do it because it ain't the fucking right thing to do. And she's not doing it for herself. Like no, you said, that's the problem. She's doing it for motherfuckers that she don't even know. And, and, that's the and a little bit of Clarence in her ear. But, 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 but it's it's more depending. That's what I said. I can see if you were doing it for people that like your like your mama and your family and all that community. Because sometimes that could be that could weigh a lot on you. You know what I'm saying? And you could be influenced, heavily influenced by that. You being influenced by some dumbass females that never met, never met you, and that you can give a you don't give a fuck about. Like because you know what she want now. She Queen wants once she take. Once she's able to take CJ from Chris, she gets the power back on YouTube now. She gets the, yeah, girl. You, you remember how she did once Madison came out and she left? Mm -hmm. Then she had the power, right? All the applause went to Queen. She'll get that same attention it, once she pulls. Because you know why? They love to see Queen up and they love to see Chris down. But I'm going to say this. Two things. When you just said, I can see if her mama was even saying that, I can't even see that because her mama ain't shit. No, but that, that, that has nothing to do with it. What I'm saying is I can see if her mama can say it because she's, you could be heavily influenced by your mother. Or but I you know. get that, but at the end of the day, your mama didn't raise you, your grandmama did. Your mama ain't shit. So, she can't come and tell me shit. Like, Chris, Queen Mama have showed that she ain't shit on fucking YouTube. You let your child move a whole bitch in your house and you supposed to be so godly and you let her a child move a bitch in the house talking about that's your girlfriend you ain't shit either so i can't see shit she's saying and secondly she don't understand that this tit for tat shit that clarence is doing that shit gonna hurt you because the judge gonna look at it like bitch this ain't just you yeah right you letting this nigga have a say so, and this ain't even and, his and, fucking and, and, child. And, and, and what pisses me off is when you get these dumbass females and these little kids once again come and say, "Why can't Clarence say something? That's his girl. He can take up for his girl. He can say what he want to say." I just don't understand how people how how I don't understand like, and I'm gonna say the YouTube world because the real world ain't like that. Like people kid me how they get on YouTube every day. And they be feeling like that's how it works for real. Like, where the fuck? Because y'all don't understand. When y'all be like, he allowed to say something. In the court of law, he ain't allowed to say shit. Facts. So if, when they go to court about this situation, Clarence ain't allowed to say a goddamn thing. Because he, he can say whatever he want about legend. But he can't say shit about CJ. Because like he said... I birthed that one. Yeah. That's, that's my, what he called him? My little dude gonna have a big package. Yeah, I forgot about that shit. He can say what he want to say about him, but he can't speak on that situation. So that, that shit was just lame as hell. It was, it was lame. Like, for y'all to still support some shit like that is fucked up. To be like, that man is like upset because she's trying to take her his son and this nigga's laughing. What the fuck is funny? Like I said. Like, what's funny? Right. Nothing about the situation. Nothing's is funny. funny at all. See, but, but see, at, at, like, nigga better than me because I I get somebody to beat your ass. That, that, and, 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 and it ain't about me personally doing it or not doing it, but I get somebody that you don't even know what they look like. Beat the shit out you. They, they ass always doing the goddamn Uber Eats. Your ass will think you getting the Uber nigga, Eats. I have a nigga that act like he working for Uber Eats and beat the fuck and out you, you. As soon as you open the door, you get your ass whooped. Exactly. 
That shit just it's just lame it's lame on all 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 counts. It's just lame as hell. Like I say, and Queen is not doing it. Like I said, I could see if she was having a situation with Chris and they was going back and forth and and, and it was really about and people gonna say this. Well look at Chris how he how he act when when CJ's with him, he puts him in fucked up positions. They gonna, that's what they reason is gonna be. But when has he ever put him in a fucked up situation? I still haven't seen a fucked up situation yeah. because, and I still keep saying it. The first thing they gonna say is right. He keep going to jail. Well, who the fuck don't? It's, it's a lot of people that go to jail. Or oh, they gonna say that yeah, that that shit queen, um, the the defects people. Can, I'm gonna be honest with you. Now that this shit coming out, queen the one who sent them fucking defects people over there. That people then. Queen came up with this whole y'all got to because she because she wanted to create a situation. Let me tell y'all, this bitch is a liar, straight up. She gets on this camera and plays the fuck out of y'all and act innocent and shit. And this bitch a whole like she got her mama car shot up by some fucking some old dope dealers. Dope sure. dealers. And you had Chris trying to get his ass whooped because you was fucking with some other nigga. Like so, Queen. Has proven to be a fucking liar and a manipulator, and whoever couldn't take care of Queen, that's who she's going with. And at the time, Chris, she felt like Chris could take care of her better, so she went with Chris. But at the at that time, she felt like a drug dealer could. Mm -hmm. So let me go with this nigga. But when you seen that, oh, this shit real. You know what was funny though? When that story came out, right? Mm -hmm. You see how fast her fans forgot that story. They, they went back to, oh, Chris cheated. Default just told y'all the whole story about this girl cheating first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all forgot that shit quick as hell. They fuck that story. We don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that story. Because, like I said, these are scorned women that put their hatred on Chris because of what they niggas or their baby daddies did a, a, to them. A lot of these scorned women, a lot of be, a lot of be women that have seen their daddies cheat on their mamas. A lot of that be, and a lot of it just be, a lot of, I, I've noticed. Like I said, I sit there and watch, especially like Facebook and shit. I sit there and watch women. First of all, a lot of women can't be real with themselves. And I don't understand that. Like I see some women get on that. Like, like they, women always post the shit like, uh, when, when can a nigga not cheat? Or when can a nigga be faithful? Or when can a nigga do this? And I'm looking at like, like certain people and I'm saying like, and I type the shit the other day. I'm like, if you're having that many problems, Throughout your life with men, it gotta be you. Like it gotta be you. Like there's no such thing as every nigga you meet is right. a fucked up dude. Yeah. Like it gotta be you. So, and I hate the fact that now it got to the fact that women can't even be real with themselves. The another thing is men cheat, all men cheat. Every man ain't shit. And it's like, and all women are just. The pillar of the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? That shit makes no fucking sense. Because I know throughout my life, I done seen several cheating ass women. I done seen it too. I done seen so. So my thing is, why we can't be honest? And why we can't be honest and just be honest and say, look, the world cheats. Men cheat, women cheat, everybody cheat. My auntie used to cheat. Man, my mama didn't cheat. My mama cheated on my, my dad. My auntie had a whole nigga that would come through when... Her man went up. Yeah. My mama cheated on my daddy. That's how they broke up. So it's like, I know women cheat. We, you know women cheat. We know it. But so, so, so women, let's stop acting like that you, your mama, your auntie, your best friend, that all y'all are just faithful and niggas ain't shit. Let's stop doing that. And I'm not, I'm not here to say that let me stand up for the rights of men. Because there's a lot of men in this world that ain't shit. But let's keep that shit real on both sides. There's a lot of men that ain't shit, and it's a lot of women that, that ain't, ain't shit. shit. Like, women and men are both ain't shit together. You know, you got a lot of men and women that are good. And that's why Queen and Clarence are um, fit to be together, because he ain't shit, and Queen ain't shit either. Yeah, so it's like, it's, it's like so, so now y'all just, like, I, I don't get it. Like, every time now, it's like y'all still beating beating this shit, and he did this, and he did that. And this shit ain't got nothing to do with, like, just defending Chris. and that, because. But it's like, y'all just won't let that shit go. It's no. like, it's like y'all driving that shit so much till y'all ain't gonna be happy until y'all take everything that this man got. 
and which is his child now. I ain't never seen no no motherfuckers who who get miserable. Mm -hmm. Like that's some miserable shit. Because you know why the hoes that are yeah queen do that. They baby daddies ain't shit. They baby that they had a baby with niggas and the niggas left them by themselves. It got to be something because nigga, your daddy left or and something. And you you would rather put that same hurt and pain on somebody else's children. There's no fucking way that. My daddy ain't shit. My daddy wasn't in my life. There's no fucking way I would put that on my children. And I'm, if I'm, their daddy wanted to be in their life. There's and, no fucking way. And, and I'm going to tell you as a woman what you have to learn to separate when you have children. As, and this is something to all women. Y'all listen. Pay attention. And I, I'm a man, so I can't speak in in place of a woman, but I can say this. As a woman, y'all got to learn to separate when, that, when your relationship goes fucked up. With your husband or baby daddy or boyfriend or whatever the case may be, you gotta learn how to separate your situation from your children's situation. Like when you, most women get hurt and then and then use that to now hold the child from the man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Now, now I'm gonna take because I because because he fucked me over. Now I'm gonna take the child from him. And or, that's some fuck shit. Or you can't see him. Or or he did. No matter what he did to you, if he's a good father, then you got to let him be that. Mm -hmm. I agree. You got to let him be that. And look, I don't give a fuck what he did to you. As long as you know for a fact that man is not going to put that child in harm's way, then you got to let that man be a father. Because whatever he did to you, and now if you're taking that from the child, you're hurting the child now. Your, your past hurting you and him. Now you're, now you're affecting the child's livelihood. Because now the child wants to know why my daddy ain't here. Why or, or why I can't see my daddy. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, if Queen, like you said, if Queen get full custody, then she's only going to let Chris see baby CJ when she wants to. And like you said, the bitch going to make it be where it got to be, visitate. Um, she going to do that supervised visitation shit. And you know what? You know why? You know why, why a lot of women do that? Especially the women who don't have to do it. Like when you know, when you know your, 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 your boy, your baby dad or whatever, don't have to do that. They do it because that's humiliating to the man. You know what I'm saying? It's humiliating to me. I got to sit in this room with this damn white lady that they're watching me like I'm a fucking child molester play with my kid. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That shit is humiliating. So that's why they be doing that shit. And you know what that shit gonna cause? When that boy turns old enough to have a decision who he wants to live he with, he gonna get the fuck on. And she and he's not gonna fuck with her at all. Yeah. And you can't blame nobody but yourself. That's true. Because you brought this shit on yourself. Like I said, there's n never... There's two things I always say, and, and Travis can, can vouch for me when I say this. I always said I would never talk about my kid's biological father to them fucked up. And I never have. Have I? No. Never have. Never said nothing fucked up about him. To him ever. <laughs> I me and him done had our situations talking to each other, but to them I never have because I never want them to no, you don't do it. judge them off of how judge him off of how I feel about him. Yeah. I want them to be able to judge him for him. Yeah. And that's what the fuck Queen is not doing. And I, I always remember that video when when she said something in the background at two talking clan, but she said something about Chris. And she just said, why you say that about my daddy? Yep. And she does that shit. She says fucked up shit about that man in front of his child. And that's a nothing ass bitch. Straight up. You a nothing ass bitch if you do that. If you try to take this man from his child and he ain't did nothing to his child. Like a lot of people saying. There's children out here that don't even know their father. Wishing they had one. And this man in his child's life. And that man lights up that little boy's world. And y'all see this. When he is with... Baby CJ, baby CJ, world lightens up. Oh, these folks know that though. Like I said, they at the end of the day, the people who say that are the people they they know that they know that that's one thing that would 
hurt him. Like, like people don't realize now, the trolling doesn't really bother Chris. Mm -mm. They know that. The trolling, the talking shit, the goddamn saying this, the goddamn throwing shots about Queen. They, and see, a lot of people keep looking at it like, they be like, they be like, and he keep on click. But, okay, this one thing I want to say, y'all. I want to say this. What is it to y'all that this man uses her name in videos? We use Queen name in videos. Uh, these other uh, blog, blogger channels use her name in videos. So what is such the big deal? Because I, I see that. And y'all don't got be calling Chris for his shit. They be using her name in videos and clickbait and using her for views and this is YouTube. Everybody uses everybody. If you are gonna say that, then Chris always gonna use Queen for views because he's, he's, he's still, tied to her, and he still got the fucking channel. He's probably still getting paid on videos that they Old did videos. years ago. But the point I'm trying to make is, but what is that a deal? What is that to you? It shouldn't be. Shit if he to used, him. if he, I don't give a fuck if he used her and said, uh, and it was a lie. You know what I'm saying? Caught Queen prostitute yesterday at Queen. If it was a lie and he used that in a video, what is it to you? Now, now she... It's everything to her. If she got mad about it, I could be like, yeah, that's fucked up, queen. That shit hurt. That shit made her mad. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But what is it to you, the viewer? Because it's easy for you to just not watch the motherfucker. What killed me the most is, is that y'all get mad, but watch every goddamn upload. What the fuck are you watching it then? Mm -hmm. If you see that shit upload, you, you have an option... You know how many videos of motherfuckers I don't watch? That as soon as I see that shit upload, I read the title, I be like, man, I ain't watching this bullshit. Because it's some bullshit. Hey, it's some, I, I ain't watching this bullshit. And a lot of shit passed, we passed by, and it, it had to be something that y'all done got there blew us up about. Because we ain't going to watch it. So, that's another thing that they, they, they really, that, 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 that irks them. That he used her for clickbait. He, he used her, he used her name. Get over that shit. Get over it. Move on, y'all. Get, get, move on. So now he should lose custody of his child because he used her name for clickbait? Or because Queen can't tell him what to do in his own house when CJ's there? She can't. He, she can't tell her what to yeah. do. Yeah. Queen, this girl really got mad because this man was having a party. In his house. And she didn't even fucking know. Y'all don't know. Y'all didn't know the queen block on, on, on social media, right? Like, from Chris. So she can't see none of that shit. They block each other through social media and stuff. So she's finding out through fucking YouTube subscribers. And she contacts somebody close to Chris and like, why is he having a party? I don't want him to have a party. Like, Bitch, you not with that him. That shit, man. That shit, that shit sounded like you still want the nigga. Yeah, that's what I said. Does she still want him? Like, you can't tell this man what he can do. And what killed me is, it's like, he can't do shit, but the same shit, she can. Yeah. So, he can't, he, Queen can't have her around, him around no, no, no woman. But, Queen can have him around. Tom, Dick, and Harry. And, and for one, um, Clarence. So if you say, well, Queen don't know them. Well, Chris don't know him. Well, he, he, he know of him. Chris don't know the fucking man that got, have him when Queen sends him to whoever house this is. To whoever she said. Yeah, Chris don't know about it, but they, but they hit her mama. Um, Chris don't know the sister, Clarence's sister. He don't know Clarence. Chris don't know Clarence's mama and Queen that sent this boy to be with all these people. All these people that Chris don't know. But the first time Chris had baby CJ around a female that Queen don't know, then all hell done broke loose. Y'all gotta be fucking fair. And we did a relationship talk on that shit where I said, I feel like both parties, when you start dating, both parties gotta introduce each other's people to like if me and Travis separated and he start dating and I start dating I gotta introduce 
the dude I'm dating to Travis. And he got to do the same thing because I want to make sure this motherfucker ain't crazy. And and I get that we know each other characters. We ain't going to bring nobody around. But that's just respect to me. It, it is. It is respect. But the, like I said, the, but the part I don't like about it is the, is the same way. The, the part I don't like about it is that people use it in a fucked up way. Like, just how you just said, I want to make sure the motherfucker you with ain't crazy. Well, do you actually think I would bring That's a crazy motherfucker? I'm, I'm saying, yeah. people, people use it in a funny way. It's like, do you actually think I would bring a crazy motherfucker around my child? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know me then. So it's like, it's like, and, and not saying that I shouldn't introduce you to the person. I should, but also, you should trust that I'm that type of a parent anyway. You know what I'm saying? And people use it in a fucked up way. Like now, like how Queen uses it. I need to know everybody that, that, that you got around my son, but I ain't got to introduce nobody to him, to you. Right. Y'all heard what she said with Charlemagne. She told Charlemagne, Clarence and... and, and they Clarence, don't need to meet. They haven't met, they haven't talked, and they don't need to. Because, because if Clarence was any type of real nigga, like a real nigga, and he met fucking Chris, and they got to talking... He gonna see Queen is on some bullshit, and that's why they never talk. They never talk, even if Cl even if Queen didn't care, they never talk because Clarence is a on nothing some ass shit. nigga. Yeah. Yeah, on some shit. Like he fears that this nigga can come in any minute and take his cash cow. Yep, and that's all it is. That's all it is. Like, bro, you got a pregnant and got a. With a child, they may not want. Even if it was some love lost there between them, she got a child now. That's done. That's done. She can't reverse that. I don't want. I don't want her ass now. She got a whole child. This nigga. Mm -hmm. Like it. Can, it can't be no shit where because you, Clarence have inserted himself into the situation every time something happened between Queen and Chris. Clarence inserts himself. So if they didn't have a child, Clarence and Queen and Chris and, and Queen could get back together, then they could forget about him. Mm -hmm. But now because there's a baby there, you can't forget about yeah, him. He has the right to stick his nose in. Yeah, so trust me, that nigga don't want that girl. And for some reason, Clarence is in, insecure on that shit. Well, he's insecure because he don't bring, he don't offer nothing. He don't bring nothing to the table. He, he just he just collecting a check. He don't bring yeah, it to he the table. sit there and and it's and it's um attic. Well, now y'all said he don't care. No, no, no. He came downstairs. Now the kids upstairs now. He didn't care. Well, that's what I heard. But the T, he don't sit bring in his apartment. See, a, a a nigga who a nigga who can bring something to the table can't be replaced as easy. Class can be replaced quickly. Mm -hmm. Cause all he's doing is taking up space. All he's doing is collecting money. Hell, you can find any nigga to do that. Mm -hmm. Hell, you can find a nigga to take money and add, add a little bit with it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you can find anybody to get sex from. You know my mama used to say when I was younger, her and her sister be talking. And she said, I can get some dick before I can get a loaf of bread. That's a fact. As a woman, that's a fact. And she was like, niggas are like that. They'll want to fuck you before they feed you. Before, that's a fact. Like, she said, if I needed a loaf of bread... A nigga be trying to give me some dick before a loaf of bread. And I, I was like, what does that mean when when I used to hear them talking? Yeah. But I get it now. Yeah. And like you said, that shit is true. That's right. And, right. and that's Clarence. Just, that's, just like, that's just like how the saying they used to say, a woman should never be broke. Because of what y'all provide. You know what I'm saying? And a nigga gonna trick off to try to get some. You know what I'm saying? So he gonna give you some money. He gonna trick off whatever you so they, you don't provide to keep you. Yeah, so that's what he said. A woman should never be broke because of that situation. But a nigga can get pushed out, out, out quick because that's all you bring to the table some dick. You know what I'm saying? And that's all <laughs> bring. Yeah, that's all you bring to the table. A nigga don't bring anything You else. see what I'm saying? So Nothing. A, so a nigga be pushed out to go quick. Since he been with Queen, I hadn't heard not one thing Clarence done did to bring in money. You know you know what's funny? I was talking to um, my partner the day, right? Time to stand on that. The funny thing is, he's not big on the YouTube, the all that go on, right? All he know is the queen, you know, queen got out trying to shut down shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And he know about her little music or whatever. But he don't know much about nothing, her storyline, everything. 
First thing he asked me, he said, we, we said something about, he like, man, my what, hey, what's up with that girl, that queen, uh, whatever. So we just talking about stuff. He like, first thing he said was, where the fuck her music at? Mm. This is a motherfucker who don't know about YouTube. So he don't really get into YouTube. So he's like, where the fuck the music at? She did. <laughs> I said, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I wouldn't be surprised if the if the bitch done got dropped. Yeah, she just being quiet. Yeah, yeah, just being quiet. I wouldn't be surprised. But you doing all this because shit. that's what happened with Armand and Trey. They got dropped and tried to hold on that they still had that record label deal until we leaked that shit. <laughs> and they ain't have it no more. I wouldn't be surprised if she had. Yeah, because. Medicine was only gonna take you so far. Yeah. And you keep on talking about I'm recording my album, I'm recording my album, I'm recording my album. That shit don't last so long. And then I'm tired of her little group of fans. Well, she got a song coming with this person, and she got a song coming with this person. It's not her song. <laughs> First of all, and don't give me that butterflies part two shit. Like, come on. Like, what the hell? First of all, this shit didn't do good. Mm mm. The thing is, I don't want to hear about no song with this person. That shit ain't out. If that motherfucker coming out, I don't want to hear about that. Even when she got songs to come out with people, the songs are wet. The song she had with Ace, um, what his name is? A Boogie with a the Boogie Hoodie. With the hoodie. It was wet. The song she had with Jeezy was wet. And Jeezy, I fucks with Jeezy, but that shit was wet. It just wasn't. Yeah, it just, it just sounded like something. The just song she had with some other girl. And people, everybody was trying to get us to react to this everybody shit. Everybody was trying yeah. to get us to re react to it. I listened to it, but the girl don't even sing for real, for real. She sounded better than Queen on the song. To me. And the song that we did G is DDG song. Like the song wasn't bad, but it was it was a good song, but it was DDG song. It wasn't her song. So it's like you doing all this extra shit. And and still. I ain't got shit going with your music career. No, you doing all this extra. You, now she talking about some, I'm finna, you know, stop putting out, doing all that extra stuff on my channel. And it's my channel. I'm going to be buying music. and But I'm going to still keep the royalty family channel. That's the channel you should have put down. Right. And kept your personal channel and just did that shit for music. To but she's see, now it's too late. Her, she's like, that's her family brand. That's another thing she want too. That's another reason she wants. She wants CJ to to look good for her groupie fans. So now, like for the for the for, for the picture for the royal family, she want to be her be her Clarence, with CJ and 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 the baby. I'm be honest with you, and I, and a lot of people gonna disagree with me when I'm say this. Queen will never have a brand outside of Queen Queen and Chris. Because nobody likes fucking Clarence. He's boring. He don't bring shit to the channel. He just sit there and, oh, yeah, you know, God's been um, playing the game. And, and, and he the type of nigga now that he thinks that he thinks money makes him lit. Make money makes him that nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, a nigga with money, you still a lame. Do I say she had never had that brand shit with that Chris and Queen brand. Yeah, you never that, that shit was big. It was huge. It was like the Prince family. It was big. Yeah. She would never get that again. No. Not with not with Clarence. He's holding. He actually hold her back. Yeah. She would never get that. Her name Queen Naja is a brand itself. But 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 she's affecting that brand, trying to bring Clarence along. She hurt. She hurt her own. Like she, you see, she did the the music career. She hurt her entire music career, dragging him along. Mm -hmm. Because it had to be Clarence everywhere you went. It had to be Clarence every time you on stage. He in the car. He he on the stage. You got to bring him on the stage. You got, you know what I'm saying? He got to be at the on the red carpet. He got to be sitting in the front row. He, you know what I'm saying? Wherever you at, he got to be there. And he was supposed to be your be your statement. And stay in the in the shadow. Stay in the cut. He and was supposed to be just like Stedman. How Oprah got Stedman trained. Clarence was supposed to be like that. That's a perfect and, example. And the funny thing about it is, nigga, you would have made the same amount of money. Yeah. You do you <laughs> do do people not understand that Stel Stedman Been is a fucking years. millionaire? That nigga play his role. He sits back. Stedman only comes out when Oprah says, "Show yourself." And it ain't never with her for real. Yeah. He was 
supposed to be Queens Stedman. And she didn't See, train him well. The thing is, even if he wasn't like Stedman, though, it's like, bro, just play your role. Like, let her be her. He he never could let her be her. Even now, like you said, when it be a situation, he got to insert himself. Mm. That shit really just pissed me off about that. About that. That um. Yep. And that it pissed you shit. off, and it pissed me off. That's why I said she's a nothing ass bitch. Cause no nigga would do no shit, and I wouldn't check that shit. And he went publicly apologized to him. Right. Because at the end of the day, that's still the father of your child. Yeah. Like, so I don't want to hear that she checked him off of Kim. No, she was supposed to make that nigga publicly apologize to that man. Because yeah. you don't you don't insert yourself when it's about no fucking custody. So on, on that fact that I said, she's a nothing ass bitch and so is Clarence. And I'm done with this whole situation. <laughs> That's it. So um y'all queen groupies, um, fuck you. Go suck a dick. And, um, Lady, we're not telling them to suck no dicks. Lick a pussy. We're not telling them to do that either. Kiss ass. Daddy. And keep it moving. No, they, they be blessed. Have a nice day. No, not that. And, <laughs> and I want to say this. Y'all get y'all fucking children. I was at work today. A motherfucking child kept trying to fucking call me on Instagram. And all in my comment section, you fat bitch and this and, and in my DM, bitch and this. And when somebody asks you about your weight loss, bitch, this and leave my people alone. It's like, get your motherfucking children. Because if I would have seen your child, I would have snatched the little motherfucker up. I gives no fucks. Well, we I would have went to jail. Well, we can't snatch no kids. I would have snatched the little motherfucker up. You can't snatch kids. I can I snatch mine up, I'm going to snatch yours up too. You can't snatch nobody else's kids. I don't give a fuck. Your child shouldn't have <laughs> came at me. Like I said, if I snatch mine up for being disrespectful, which they're never really disrespectful to adults because they know I don't play that shit, but if they got out of line, what I would snatch. What you mean never, really? They ain't never disrespectful to no goddamn Well, family. yeah. I was like, ain't no damn sir, because I ain't trying to hear that shit. Like, what you mean? I ain't never really like sometimes. Well, yeah, they're not. They're, they're, they're never, never disrespectful. They're not ever, like. To that's, adults, because they know we ain't playing that shit. Hell no. But that that's, again, them nothing-ass mothers that are raising nothing-ass children. You nothing-ass hoes, stop having kids. Stop being your children's and you, friends. And you start having kids. Start not, not stop having them. Start raising them. And stop being your child's fucking friend. You... you Birth a child, not your friend, not your mini me, not a dress up doll. Stop fucking raising these kids as your friend and be a fucking parent to them and whoop their ass when they're in the wrong. Because I'm telling you, I'm that bitch that if your child disrespects me and I ever see them, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of them. No, I'm gonna take off my belt and whoop their ass. No, you're not because you're going to jail. And I will go to jail. They're gonna be like, what you been here for, girl? Whooping somebody child ass, girl. I pulled off that belt and whooped they ass. They needed it. I bet they won't fuck nobody else. I go to jail. So go ahead, sir. Put the cuffs on me. I'm gonna whoop your child ass and wait on the police to get them. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Let them put the cuffs on me. And when I get there, I'm going to be in my mug. In my mug shop, like, posing and everything. Stupid. I'm dead serious. I'm going to pull off my belt and beat your child ass. You stupid. Because obviously, you're not doing it. You stupid. And you need somebody to teach you how to do it. So I'm going to show you it. Oh, and if you act up, I'm going to just put them hands on you. Hey, I'm not. Matter of fact, I might whoop your ass with the belt, too. Goodbye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So make sure you like your comments and share. Like I said, I'm not with that bullshit in the comment section. I said what the fuck I said. If you don't like it, oh well. It is what it is. You will get. You will catch that. Thanks. Thank you for your view, love. Enjoy. I'm bringing that back. All 2020. So with this video ending, thank you for your view, loves. Enjoy. Peace.